hello there battery kids and welcome to the density experiment. Today we're going to check out how uh, water can become more or less dense and for this we'll be using uh, a few things that you can probably find around your kitchen including one egg, one glass that starts off half full of water, um, some salt, a spoon for stirring, and a measuring spoon that shows you what a tablespoon is. So first things first, we're gonna see what happens when we take this egg and drop it into this cup that is half full of water. And as you can see, the egg sinks straight to the bottom. So we're gonna see if we can maybe change this water up just a little bit to see um, how we can make the egg float. This is gonna happen through uh, salt. It's gonna take about six tablespoons of salt, maybe a little bit more, however much you decide to put in there. So. Um, <clears throat> Take your measuring spoon, measure out about six, and then you'll just need to stir it up really good to make sure that the salt mixes in with the water. Now what we're doing now is we're actually using the salt to make the water more dense. <clears throat> so now that you have some really cloudy salt water there, I'm going to take it over here to the sink and fill it up the rest of the way with water. <clears throat> and so if you look really closely at it, you can see this really dense uh, and just really thick looking at the bottom. And at the top where I just put the water in there, it actually has a little bit of a lighter color to it where there's a lot less salt. So now we're going to take the egg and see what happens when we drop it in. And if you look there, you can see floating on top of the water is the egg. Like I mentioned, this happens because now with all the salts there inside the water, <clears throat> it creates a much more dense environment here for the egg to sit on top of. So, I hope that you learned something and enjoyed the density experiment. Look forward to seeing you here next time on Battery Kids.